thanks for checking into this one. This is a really cool game. Played it on Intertub with. I fell in love with it. I can't stop thinking about it. We'll start a new game. It's actually got some of the best menu stuff I've ever seen. You get to see a roadmap of the dev stuff coming soon. You can unlock extras. And he does a really cute little storyboard of how he made the game. Saying how he's in depression and stuff like that. Because he didn't know where to go with his life. And his dad died and stuff. It's made with a lot of love and care this game. It's very easy to see. I'm going to start a new game. We'll go over to the right hand side. And I only got about 40 minute, yeah, 45 minutes into my first save file. You know what? We'll delete it. I'm not going to be going back to it. And let's go. So you'll see how this sort of works out. Um... You have to craft, it's called an idle game, but I think that does it a bit of a disservice because you're not really idle ever, you're doing stuff all the time. We need to start off by making a furnace, which we need stone for. But wait until you just see how this game evolves before your very eyes, it's very, very cool. We're also going to need some berries and some stone. Now, as you might have just seen that tree pop in there, stuff pops in all the time. Before you know it, you've got tons of shit going on. It's awesome. Let me know if it's working for you now. I hope you fixed your uh, whatever troubles you're having. Right. We need, we need some more stones to appear, really. You can see my level going up at the top there as well. Um, so everything you break, build, kill, you get experience points for. Then you can start uh, using your skill points to unlock more stuff to build. It's pretty standard if you've played any sort of crafting game before, but there is something just really charming about this. Mainly because of your confines, but you can start building out, so it's not all bad. Right. That might be enough um, stone for us if we do this. But has anyone played this yet? It's been out for about 10 days or so. so people might have heard of it. Need one more stone, not a problem. In the meantime, we'll get food because underneath my health on the top left, there is uh, like an energy bar. Yeah, it's really cool that he does charity live streams, definitely. He does a lot of good with these platforms, 100%. I think he's a decent person to look up to. You never hear any sort of um, controversy about him or anything like that. At least I don't. So I think he's pretty cool. I am hungry, okay, that makes two of us. Eat the fuck out some berries. Just gotta try and get through early game as quick as we can so we can start getting the cool stuff going on. We're nearly at level 2, so that'll probably do it for us. We just need a rock to appear. Not the actor, or wrestler turned actor. We need an actual full on um, earth given rock. Come here, you. One more tree and we should level up. I think I'm gonna go a different route as I did last time as well. So, and that's the most satisfying screen as well. Our skills, I might go magic first because you get some awesome experience early on if you go magic. Find some fairies. The next time I'll probably go industry. Last time I think I went industry first on my in the tub with tomorrow. So I might regret that. But I wanna try something different. We full on need a uh, stone to appear. We could make a fish trap. Now this basically lets us catch fish, as you may have guessed. I think I've gone too quick this time, because <laughs> there's not anything waiting to be broken. Oh, Bakuta, it's so good. I love it. Um, basically, it's like a... It's a it calls itself an idle game, but I think it's so much more than that. You start off on this tiny little island, you start breaking stuff, and then you build stuff and you expand and so, and so on and so forth. But it's got a really cool in-depth, um, whatchamacallit, like a uh, skill system. The skill tree is really, really expansive. We've only done one skill so far, but it goes everywhere. It's just, it's so charming. I can't explain it. Well, for some reason, we're not getting a rock spawn, which is a bit worrying. Just gotta kill these trees, so maybe if I get to my next level. But I love it, dude. So basically, Bakuta on my YouTube every Monday I do like a pre recorded video where I check out an indie game and give my opinions on it. And I played this today for my video tomorrow, but when I stopped playing it, I couldn't stop thinking about it. He 
You know what? I'm gonna live stream this and make a series out of it. We'll concentrate fully once we beat Sekiro, probably. Let's get to night time. Okay. Energy is low. It's actually really weird that we haven't got another rock yet. Just need one more. How did you get on in Alien, Bakuta? Oh, there we go. We're good. Now we can move on. Yes, it gave us stone. And we caught some fish as well. Oh, it's E, isn't it? Right. So, I'll probably just put it... Hmm, I'll probably put it there. Make a furnace. Put it in that little looking cranny. So now we need to make some... We need more stones, really, because we need to make a forge. Can't do anything with that yet. I'll try and get to level 3. Oh yeah, go for it, because I, Like, YouTube is still sort of my main thing. Um, I have pre-recorded series on there that I've played through, which I, I don't stream. Main one being Phoenix Wright at the moment. But yeah, if you uh, feel inclined to sub there, I'd be very grateful, dude. The support you're showing, like, my channel has been... Crazy good man. Can you get this game on console? I think you can, TT. I think you can. I mean, this game I would just love to play it on, on Switch. But wait until you see how crazy it gets, because this is still very early. And getting some gold ore is amazing there. But it's a beautiful little game. Made by one guy, I think. And I'm astound I really I might even read through his storyboard thing in a minute so we can see how this game was created. It's a really nice touch. I need coal. I don't have any coal. And to get coal, we can just do wood, can't we? Let's make like a ten of them. See how we get on. And thankfully, we're getting way more sort of rock spawn. No, it's not free, my dude. Not free. Um, it was fifteen pound on Steam, so it's probably going to be more on the Switch. And probably about the same on consoles if it's on consoles. Okay, let's eat some more berries. And then... Okay, iron ingots we can start making, I think. Once that, I mean, I did build two of these so we can get double the production, but I might leave it at one. I don't have a lot of stone. Yeah, you're doing... It seems like you're doing great with it, Gooter, with Alien. It's not an easy game at all, so for... Your first foray into the genre. Seems like you're doing great. Now, because I've got hindsight and I've played through a bit of this before, we're going to go economy, instantly get 40 coins, and then we're going to expand the land. You should buy land and expand, I agree. So yeah, we can buy it for 30. Oh, it's procedurally generated. Okay, awesome. So like, when I first built over here, I had a there was a huge tree house with like an old druid, and he gave me a quest. But now it's totally different. Yeah, Goomba, this is uh, Forager, the game for in the tub with tomorrow. It's so fun, I love it. I didn't know it's procedurally generated. This makes it even cooler. But what are these? Oh, you can push them. I reckon there's a code to them. Get that gold. Yeah, I mean, I think it's an investment, uh, definitely. Um, it's got. To, uh, we'd have to quit the game, but it does show you the plans for the updates and stuff, which I think is really cool. Uh, okay, so that isn't right. There must be a code to it then. Did anyone see any potential clues as to what order we have to press them in? I can't at the moment, but let me go know if you guys see anything. Oh, we're getting sand, that's good. Getting loads of gold. This is called Forager, Sergey. It's literally in the title of the stream. <laughs> I don't mean to be facetious, but it, yeah, it's called Forager. Yeah, me too, Bakuta. I like procedurally generated stuff. Little surprises like that. Um, so what am I making? I want to make this forge, so I need ingots and bricks. 
we go. We'll get foraging some more. But it's really good, Sergey. It's for me anyway. So let's try some more combinations. Hmm. I can't see any method yet, to be honest. We could bridge up all them bits as well. Okay, so we're actually getting really lucky with uh, gold ores here because when I played it earlier, I had trouble finding these. Iron was not so bad. So I guess we can make enough now, I think. Enough of these. Three, four, perfect. I don't know if to make another one of these just to double the production. I thought that star would want to say hello. Take that. Keep the trees going. But yeah, if anyone has an idea what order we have to press them buttons in. Could be something we could learn together. You're exhausted? No problem, dude. We'll give you some berries. And fish. So, do you think... It has to be like that, and then that slender thing could fit inside this, and then no, and then that, and then that, no. <laughs> I'm trying to think if you need to connect them somehow. I've got no idea. Looks like I've got the scrim lobby twice, maybe Noah. Some rough going. Sand. Right, so now. Have enough. I'll put my forge here and the sewing station. We want to make that as well. I think we need four brick. Put the sewing station here if I can. We've got some nice little stuff coming along. So we can build and uh, make coins. I say you make money. You need gold ingots for that. You can make a key. You can make the slimy pickaxe. That's what I'd like to get. Need more jelly though. I guess we're trying to make some money and get onto the other side. Oops. Hmm. Still proper stuck with this. I mean, it's very rare that it's going to be in like a counterclockwise thing like that. Like that. Over here. Nope. I'll we'll take some stone. There's another slime there. Oh, and some more gold. And we nearly leveled up. Oh, we can make that. Come here, slime. Try and make. I think you can make a backpack and stuff. We get more room, of course. Wait, is the okay? I thought the uh, I didn't think the game was fitting the whole screen there, but it seems like you get the wood counter right on the edge. Level four, okay. What should we level up? Let me go for this. Unlock steel, unlock glass, and gain XP when building structures. Definitely, maybe I should have done that first. I built a few structures. Forge create four extra coins every time. I'm going to try and make some gold coins. First, I'm going to need some more coal. That's going to take a while. What can we make here? Small backpack is made from thread. We make thread through this. Need some more of this stuff though. I'm really glad that it's uh, not the same every time, that you can get different things appearing here. Keeps it pretty fresh. I think eventually you can go underground into caves and stuff and fight bosses and everything like that. Hey, my dude is getting very hungry. I've got the berries for you. There you go. Get out of the way. 
Sand's pretty good as well, so we will need to make um, glass at some point. God, we can make eight of them. Definitely do that. Do that as well. Some coal. I want to upgrade my pickaxe as well. There's a slime pickaxe, which is pretty good. Just a very relaxing game though at the end of the day. Far cry from Fortnite. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do about follower fun days because Fortnite was lagging so bad. And I've dropped the game settings onto medium. Dropped my bitrate to like 2k, which is nothing. Still, every, I'd get in-game lag whenever we get into an encounter. I don't know what's going on with that. Tree needs to go. Okay, so then... Making me a backpack. Now I think I can make some gold here. So we can make four because we need 50 for the next land expansion. Yeah, no worries, Tom. Sounds good. I had um, some of Gemma's shepherd's pie tonight. Beautiful. Really tasty. How's your Nan's apple crumble? Amazing, I assume. Got a small backpack, perfect. More inventory space. Right, so, can we land expand? Oh wait, I'm like eight coins off. Shit, I must have calculated very wrong. Just do it all, I guess. Gold ore. I'd love to know what the code is for that. It can't just be, you just have to keep guessing. I must have missed a clue somewhere. Which tells me how we have to activate it. And I've definitely lost track of what we've tried. Have I tried like that? And then like that? And then like that? No. Nope. What about that, and that? I mean, I don't even know how many possibilities there could be. 14 million. And only one is correct. And let me get some more berries. Oh, we've got some fish, some sand, and what else? Some more sand. Loads of money. Even buy that for 60, but we'll go over here. Oh, a chest. I need to make a key. I need gold ingots. Did I just use all my ingots to make the money? I did. No big deal. What's the aim of this game? You just need to build better stuff and expand, Pyro. So the more I collect, the better stuff I can build. Ah, this is what we need. Sounds nice, Tom. Sounds very nice. I've still got some Easter eggs to eat. I might have to dig in in a minute. Okay. Uh, what haven't I tried? We can go diagonal corners. I don't think I've done that yet. So I could go like there. I don't know why I always keep something with that one. Oh, wait. Is it one? And then two? And then like three? Four? Yeah, there we go. We got there in the end. It made sense all of a sudden. No, you can't swim, but that's no problem. You can just build a bridge. So now we've got two chests to open. Oh, look, a fairy. Eat the fairy. Got to level five. Now we're talking. Right, what should I skill up? Foraging, cotton spawns more often, allows you to find wheat, allows you to find beets. Yes, that means we can eat way more. Let me just see what uh, eggs I've got. Hang on.
must be this one. The unopened one. <laughs> oh, it's really fun, dude. It's pretty chill. I like it a lot. Right, okay, so we've got that. Might be time to tuck into a, a bunny or two. Oh! No! Fuck you, slime. My first unboxing stream. Wow, I can't believe they sent us the free Easter egg. Shout out to Lynn. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry, guys, it's just Tom speaking about his crumble. Made me super hungry. <laughs> I've got a hell of a sweet tooth, Pyro. Like a disgustingly sweet tooth. But only one filling, thankfully. <laughs> Poor boy, you don't have a clue. Mmm. Okay. That's so worth it. Right. We've got an emerald. There's a beat. Let's get this gold. Alright, yes. I want to make a key, see what we get. Oh, I need iron ingots as well. Oh, a chicken. Thank you for the egg chicken. Slime. You got Minchel's egg, nice. But now you got nothing. Oh, dude, this is my, actually my last Easter egg. But the thing is, it comes with like four chocolate bunnies. So the ages where you can get to the egg. Okay, one more of them. Now we can make a key. Looks like it might take a while. Chocolate tastes better when it's in an egg shape. Yeah, I'm with you there. <laughs> Something nice about it. Or in the shape of a bunny. Right, we've got the key. Let's open this chest then. Might have to kill the slimes. I was a bit weak. Oh, there's more gold ores. I need to get to that. Whoa! Back off. Right, now you need to eat, that's fine. Um, what do we get? Sunglasses? Nerdy glasses, XP gain increased by 20%, hell yeah. And that calls for a bite of the rabbit. Oh. Oh. Mm. Okay, five second rule, right? Huh. He wears the glasses, awesome. You do guitar, awesome. I can play guitar as well, Sergey. That's cool, man. Make another bridge as well. Um, where is it? Nice. Oh, basically, because this goes on too late, man. Like, I'm streaming four times a week now. And if I stop streaming at 11, I don't go to bed to about half 11. And I've got to get up for work about half six. I'm just, just so fucked. 
If at least on Sunday, if I can do it four to eight, then um, I get a bit more sleep basically, and I can hang out with Gemma a bit more, do stuff on Sunday, I like watch a show or whatever. I'm trying to find the perfect balance. Oh shit! Poor chicken. Right, we leveled up. Getting close to pretty much where I stopped playing before. Right. Gathering. Gain four inventory slots. Gain 25% more XP from plants and crops. Unlocks inscription tables. Gain 20% more XP. Unlocks vaults. Three shot 50% more wood. Unlocks torches. Unlocks leather. Uh, I don't really know. Might take this just so we can level up quicker. Uh, Tuesday's the new day, dude. Yeah, it's Tuesday. We've done it last week, and we're gonna. This is gonna be the second week of Tuesdays starting this week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. But fucked up, basically. Yeah, and you're right. You can start a hobby whenever. Maybe we should go for the woodcutting stuff next, I'm not sure. Maybe I should try and just get some more money and expand the land. What have we got that I'm on? I kind of want to get the slime pickaxe actually, that's what I'll go for next. Right, so we need some iron ingots for that. Not a problem. Five I think we need. There we go, some more gold. Yeah, Warhammer's always looks interesting, Tom. Is there like a local uh, games workshop near you where you can go and fight people? But that seems like a very time, uh, like a hobby that takes up a lot of time. It's quite expensive as well, right? If you really get into it. There's so much shit just roaming everywhere now. Oh, I still need to make that key. I forgot. Let's see what's in the chest. The chicken shitting everywhere. And there's more gold over there. Good. This is going pretty well. I think. I don't really know what to base it on. What is that? Vampire wings. 30% chance to recover health when killing enemies. Awesome. <laughs> that deserves a bite of the bunny, right? Oh, I can see the appeal of D&D big time. Basically just like... For me, it'd be the same reason why you play video games. Just to escape into like a... A different world for a bit. Like that. Right, so... We need four more iron ingots, not a problem. While we do that, we'll get some more of the ores here. Oh really, where do you get them Tom? Just like online or something? Off Amazon or whatever. They must sell them on there, right? Cool, I definitely didn't get this much cosmetic stuff in my last uh, playthrough. You're hungry? In that case, eat that. And that. Oh crap, the slime. Got that. So now we can make the better pickaxe. Space Marines, I've heard of that one before. 
I wouldn't even know where to begin if I wanted to get into it, to be honest with you. Yeah, level seven, let's go. Thanks for a rabbit. Oh god, I'm eating this a bit too quick, but I love it so much. Damage increased by 75%. More jelly from slimes. Perfect. Get that. Mm -hmm. What do we upgrade now? Unlock leather. Oh. Unlock swords. Increase dodge chance by 15. We go for swords? But no, the pickaxe kills slimes better. I don't know what to go for. We do kill a lot of trees. I mean, cut them down. Yeah, exactly, Baku. There's a lot of sort of hurdles, I think, to get over for people want to start. But I'm sure there's tons of online sort of resources and communities. Hell, even Tom could help you. Come out with guns that vaporise the fucking shit out of anything. You still want what tyranids? What's tyranids? Oh, you know what? I should try and expand the land. That's what I should be working towards next. We'll try and buy another land tile. Oh, you bastard slime! Thankfully, we still got quite a bit of health. Aliens when their bodies are the weapons. Amazing. Zerg. I haven't played Star Starcraft either. No, I know of Starcraft. I thought Zerg was the thing from Toy Story 2. Isn't that Buzz Lightyear's arch nemesis? Okay, so. What next? What next? Didn't I say money? We've got loads of gold ingots. What can I make on here? Fred? Oh, a small wallet. I'll do that. Do we need eight, Fred? Make the wallet before we... Save up for the land expansion, maybe? Holy shit, Tom, that's a long URL. <laughs> that's a tyranid, okay. You might be better off putting it in Discord. I can quickly tab to that. Put it in Discord, have a little look. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Let that be. Um, right, the wallet. And then can we make some points? There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I've just I've been ultra lazy. Level 8 soon. I think we're in uncharted territory now. Yes, we've got enough for a land expansion as well. Okay, I got the wallet. Coins are worth 50% more. Does that count for them ones? Got some poo. Buy land for 60. 350 for 80. Okay, we can only go there. What is that? Oh, what is that thing? It's a cow, but its others are on the head. But really cool. Intra 
interesting little creatures there. Got cows here. Right, now I'm overwhelmed. What do I want to do? A bone pickaxe? I need bones for that. I've got a skill point, I think, haven't I? I've got a feeling that cow thing is uh, deadly, so I might try and make a sword. They survive by obliterating life on other planets. Charming. Build a little bridge over. Are they the coolest like species faction? Bone sword. Hmm. So I can make like a steel sword. Let's get over here then. Um, obelisk gain its speed bonus from gathering herbs and crops. Only one, I just said say, names it obelisk can be active at any time. That went so much. Oh my fuck, that went for me hard. Oh no, don't come onto my island. I need to make a sword. Fuck off. Yes, cheesed it. Wow. <laughs> I think they're the coolest, but they're definitely awesome. They look awesome. For sure. No, that thing's back. I hope they don't spawn on here now either. Right, what should I build? I guess more gold? I don't have any bones. Got all that stuff. Yeah, it must be more gold. level up better. Just let me know, okay, give me a second. Get some, I'm just gonna get some of these ores and stone. Nearly level nine. I wonder if level 10 will hold anything special. away. don't want to put myself anywhere I can get killed either. Okay, let's have a look at these. If I go in there, am I safe? No. Okay. Ugh. And they have guns as well. Shit, yeah. That's like half robot, that one. That's very freaky. That one is like the villain out of Men in Black. What, the cockroach dude? Cool, but I look so gross as well. <laughs> what was that? I just killed something without realizing. Okay, he's exhausted. What skill should we go for? Unlocks lighthouses. Torches. Rocks drop 40% more minerals. Could be handy. Men in Black 3. Oh man, don't know if I've seen that one. Men in Black 2 was on the other night. Hmm. I need an axe or something. Inventory's full. What? 
Um. Week. So I need more inventory space. Can't get that fish. I'm trying to work out what to make. This can't really be. More gold again? The hardest ones to paint because there's so many bits to them. Yeah, they do look finicky. Um, the shit do I destroy? Like an egg, I guess. Come here, slime. I don't want to hurt my chicken. I don't know too much details. I'll just say draw whatever you want. If you're not going to show it to anyone, who cares if it's any good or not? Who cares anyway? Just do it if you enjoy it, I guess. Oh, as if you got a hit on me there. Great, but I need gold really. What do you mean by they was doing it in like five pieces? What? So one model they were splitting it up into five sections. It's so intricate. Okay, you're hungry, not a problem. Have some citrus. We'll save the berries. Loads of cr crazy things like plants and wheat and trees. There we go. This would help a little bit, I guess. So as our next level up, we'll have to invest it so we can really start moving somewhere. 24 coins. That's not really going to get me anything. Oh, shit. I may have killed another chicken. It's all right. We've got plenty more. Oh, paint it before you put it all together. I'm with you. That's cool. Before cutting out the plastic frame, what is that to be super safe? How do you do it? Mm. It's far too late to be eating chocolate like that, but it's so good. Let me make some more bridges here just because I need something. Here. Oh, we weren't so bad. Got a bunch of leather as well. Oh, he's back already. There you go, you can be nice and cheesed. Look at all this stuff. Oh, God. Okay. What the fuck do we skill up on? Mm. Getting four more inventory spots, easy. 
I'm not even gonna look at the rest. We'll go up another level in like 10 minutes or five minutes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Next one I might get is the magic one. See you later, TT. Thanks for coming by. It's good speaking to you, buddy. I'll be back here on Tuesday. So this is the furthest I've got in this. So you can sort of see where progression does slow a little bit. Dying for some gold ores, really. <laughs> 